Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I have here the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. This is the Exynos model. And this is an update video to the first one, which I'll leave a link in the top right, which I test out the performance with Geekbench 3. And some of you guys wanted to know the performance of this phone with some other benchmarks. So I've installed three other benchmarking apps. Uh, and just to show you, we've got all the apps closed. And we'll start off with N22. And I have run this when I first got the phone, so it's got a score there. And we'll just see if testing it again, I've had an update of 70 megabytes roughly, so it could change the performance. Um, but I'll just speed through it, but I'll uh, let you guys see what happens on the phone whilst it's testing the phone. Okay, so the test finished and we got a score of 131,141 and you can see the other scores there for the 3D, UX, CPU and RAM and we'll just open them up so you can see all the scores there. Um, so we can compare that to the other phones, so it ranks third on this list with the Edge there, I'm guessing that is the Snapdragon 820 model. And we've got some other phones, you can see the Note 5, the S6 Edge, which this phone is replacing. We've got the OnePlus 2, the M9, and so on. So a pretty good score, and it translates to pretty good performance on the phone. So I'm just going to let it cool down for five to ten minutes just so we get a fair score in the next test. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. Okay we're back, it's been over ten minutes since the first test and we're now going to run 3D Mark and we've closed all the apps so it's just 3D Mark open and we'll run through the test and I'll do the same again, I'll just speed it up and let you guys see what the phone actually does whilst the test is running. Okay, so we came out with a score of 2,194. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes since the previous test, and now we're going to go on to the final test, which is GFX Bench GL. So the previous test was very uh, GPU intensive, where this phone kind of falls down. Uh, it's the Exynos model, as I said. So we'll just run through this test to finish it off and I'll do the same again, speed it up but leave it up so you guys can see what the phone does in this test. Okay, so we finally finished that, and we can see some of the scores there, so frames for each of the tests, I won't read through them all, but you can just see them, pause the video if you want to look at them individually. And we can go down to compare, and we can see the device score here and some of the other phones and tablets here. So we scored quite an okay score, 
lower than average, I'd say. So we got four six three, and there's the S seven edge, um, but this is the Exynos version down here. So we scored pretty much the same. So yeah, we can see that frames per second we are lower than the Snapdragon version, which also has, uh, I believe, a different GPU. Sorry about that, got cut off from the feed. Um, so basically, everyday performance is going to be great. Um, obviously this is pushing the phone to the absolute limit in terms of CPU and graphics performance. But in terms of multitasking and just using normal apps, uh, games, videos, it's absolutely great this phone. I've had one bit where it just froze and the speaker was making this awful noise and then it just restarted. Um, and that was a couple of days ago, but we have since then had an update. But apart from that, it's had no stutters. Uh, loading is more than adequately quick. Um, so yeah, definitely great phone. You guys can check it out. I'll leave a link to Samsung's page down below. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And stay tuned and subscribe. I'm starting a new series on Sunday, so you don't want to miss that. So subscribe, click the red button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.